You're watching African Farming. We are at Onewa Farms where farmer Eric Muwani lost his entire yield because of frost. Rovic Africa is here to help him with the recovery process and they've already prepared the ground. We're going to be talking about irrigation and to help me with that is Rudolf van der Valt. Rudolf, welcome. Thank you, Darby. Rudolf, now if I want to start irrigating a small scale farm, um, what is the first thing that I need to consider? The first thing, you need, you need water. So you'll have to look at a water source, either from your boreholes or uh, from a dam. So that will be the first thing that you need to look at. So now let's talk about getting the water from the water source into the crops. First off, you're going to need a pump, irrigation pump. So then there's four things that you need to consider when choosing the right pump for your application. Uh, firstly, you need to know what the pressure is or the total head that you will need for your irrigation system. Uh, secondly, you need to know the desired flow rate. Uh, thirdly, the suction lift if your pump is higher or lower than the uh, water source. And fourthly, is you need to know the characteristics of the water, um, referring to the water quality. And speaking of the water quality, do I need to filter this water? Yes, look, filtration is one of the most important parts of irrigation, especially when we're looking at drip irrigation. Um, a normal inline filter should be sufficient for a smaller scale farmer with a, either a disc or a screen filter. And then you will go for your bigger applications. Uh, you will look at a, either a primary and a secondary uh, filter. And then we also do recommend using a 125 mesh or 130 micron screen. Now, Rudolf, I see you guys bought two different filters here. Can you please tell me more about them? Right, so the first one is just a normal inline filter that you can use for your smaller scale irrigation or drip irrigation systems. And then we also have a self-cleaning filter or a self-flushing filter. Okay, the advantages of the filter is that it automatically flushes um, as soon as the filter uh, picks up a differential pressure of 0.3 bar between your inlet and your outlet, which obviously saves you time and money of sending out a guy to go and clean or open the filter to clean it manually. Then it also comes with a 24 volt controller, so you don't need any electricity. And then another advantage is that you have continuous operation without any interruptions, keeping your system on a constant pressure. Now for a farmer like Eric, already he has installed this drip irrigation system. But I'm interested on the drip irrigation system that you guys bought, the, the self startup kit. Tell me more about it. Hey, Toby, yeah, that's our DIY drip kit. Uh, it comes complete in a box with all your fittings, pipes, uh, tape or drip tape. Um, it's got a 13 step on the side showing you exactly how to assemble this drip kit. It's a low pressure system. So you don't need necessary or necessarily need a pump. Uh, you can work this irrigation kit either from a tap because you need, uh, you need as little as 0.3 bar pressure. Either from a tap then or from a tank that's on at least a 3 meter tank stand. So basically can, I can actually um, put this in my backyard if I'm growing vegetables or something? That's correct. You can you run it from a tap. It's a low pressure like I mentioned. There's a low flow rate so you can use this any vegetable garden, greenhouses, small farmers and then obviously we're going to the commercial farming as well. Now speaking of commercial farming, if I want to upscale, um, what do I do after that if I have a system like that? Probably, obviously you're going to have to uh, get a design for a bigger uh, operation or uh, irrigation system but in that case we're using the same drip line, we have different drips as you can see. Um, you have your low pressures, uh, low flow rate uh, drippers and then you uh, go for your more seasonal drippers that's uh, thicker uh, wall thickness higher flow rates and that can handle more pressures when you bring in your bigger pumps for your bigger operations. Now Rudolf, I see you guys bought a knapsack. So why is a knapsack a good investment to have for a small scale farmer? Well Toby, on the instance that we have here now for Aunt Eric's farm is that we can't get into a greenhouse necessarily with a boom spray or a tractor or even under your shade nets. So for them the best application will be with a manual knapsack uh, it's a main, I mean, it's a 16 litre knapsack, it's not that heavy, so you can carry, carry it with ease and you can do your normal spray of pesticides or herbicides. Rudolf, thank you so much for showing me these irrigation components. I mean, irrigation is a key factor. Thank you, Tori. Thank you so much for watching African Farming and hope to see you again. Remember, we farm better together.
Get the necessary cover for you and your family in the event of unforeseen misfortune. The African Farming Protector Plan offers you comprehensive funeral cover for your entire family plus extended family at an affordable cost. Our product also offers benefits such as monthly discounts on groceries, discounted bus tickets, ambulance services, and trauma and assault assistance, to name a few. For more information on the African Farming Comprehensive Funeral Plan, SMS African Farming to 45269 and get the peace of mind you deserve.